Hey there, this is Mungo Studio Sensei, and I want to share a tip I just discovered that really, I think, is useful for almost any workflow. And that is figuring out how to manage layers. So, one thing I was discovering with uh, Mongo Studio is that the control, the control button that is normally set to uh, the move tool can find layers like when you click on them and then move them whenever you feel like wherever you want but you'll notice that when I click on a layer right it will snap back to the layer that you're originally working on so this is selecting a highlight layer that I have over over the hair but when I let go of the the key it's gonna jump back to the layer I was first working on and I was thinking well that's kinda silly why does it do that I wanna select the layer and then be able to work on it well that tools actually in here and it's actually just a shift key away if you hold down control and shift you'll get this little cursor and it creates this kind of like mystic little box right and what I found out was it's actually selecting and finding the layers that is underneath it so if I wanted to go edit the skin layer really quickly all I need to do is hold control and shift and click on it and you'll notice that my uh, layer selection jumped down to the skin layer so now I can just you know muck around on it and then if I wanted to switch to like these little headphones I could do the same and of course I'm not on the same layer anymore so yeah yeah control shift is the select layer tool and it's also able to help help you kinda of spelunk and figure out what layers are present in a specific area so if you drag it it will actually highlight every single layer that is affected by it but generally it prioritizes the one that's farther up of course but it will help you find things that are essentially lost in layers that you might have forgotten to merge or whatnot so it's incredibly useful and I love it and it's like one of the reasons why I keep sticking with this program because I keep finding stuff like this and so if you want to use it manually instead of using control keys you can find it underneath the object tool which is that little box and then it's called select layer and of course you can tell it to not select specific layers as well anyway thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a good time